If you want to talk about five star hotel in Kuala Lumpur, the EQ Hotel will be one of the top five in the list. With the award they achieved over the past year, I have no doubt to say that this is one of the best hotel I ever stayed in 2024. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Hi, welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 2. I'm Danny. Formerly known as Equatorial Hotel, it was opened in the 70s and became one of the premium hotels in Kuala Lumpur since then. The hotel closed its door in 2012 and have a thoroughly rebuilt, meaning it was demolished to the ground and raised again from the dust. It was reopened in 2019 with a new, modern and stylish look as what we see today and renamed as the EQ Hotel. Located strategically at a golden triangle in the city centre, it is surrounded by many famous and renowned rivals. With just about 15 to 20 minutes walk, one can easily reach to some of the famous landmarks in Kuala Lumpur like the KLCC Twin Tower, KL Tower and the shopping heaven of Pavilion KL. Furthermore, the hotel is just 5 minutes walk away to the monorail train station where one can reach to almost everywhere in the city. However, I prefer to stay in the hotel for the rest of my stay here as the hotel has so much to offer, so many things to see and experience. It's my first time to make a video into two parts on the same hotel and on the same period of time of staying. I will be posting the second part of the video in the following week and please hit the subscribe button so you will not miss any of the video. A big thank you if you do so as it means a lot to me. Let's get into it one by one. The EQ Hotel is part of the Equatorial Plaza that consists of 51 stories. Let me roughly show you how this massive building layout looks like. The lower levels and the basements are the car park which consists 6 levels. On the ground floor is the lobby, cafe, restaurants and bank. From level 1 to 3 are ballrooms and function hall. Level 4 all the way to level 26 are the offices. The M&E floor is located at level 27 to 28. Level 29 is where the hotel facility is located. From level 30 all the way to level 50 are the hotel rooms. Last and not least is level 51 where the famous Sky Lounge is located. The EQ Hotel has 440 luxury rooms catered to all premium guests intend to stay here. I'm going to stay in a club room with club lounge access for two nights. And if you want to know how much I pay for the room, you may check on the description below. I will also have another video specifically on the club lounge itself, so please feel free to check it out. All club rooms are located at 47th floor and above, high enough to get the best view of the city. Check-in can be done at the reception area at the lobby or if you want to feel a little bit more prestigious like me, one can request to have a more personal check-in at the club lounge located at level 50. Walking into the lobby of this hotel is just like entering into an art gallery. Upon entering from the front entrance, on the left is the office tower reception, office lifts and bank on the far left. One will not miss this huge lantern tower in the middle of the lobby. It is made out of two layers of thick glass edge with traditional Malay song cap pattern in a modern way. One layer with vertical lines and another layer with geometrical shapes. When two layers combine, it creates a depth of feel on the surface when one look at it. Another part that shouldn't be missed is this beautiful design spiral staircase. The middle of the staircase is a hard solid metal beam and the rest of the staircase are built surrounding it all the way up spirally to the third level of the building. At the side is a huge mirror wall where one look at it will create an illusion of double spiral staircase or in some angle, it is a huge staircase, very clever design. Mean 
Meanwhile, if one is having an event and the ballroom in either level 2 or 3, this lantern tower and spiral staircase add a sense of elegance to the surrounding itself. This is how it looks from level 2 and level 3. Behind the spiral staircase is the all-day dining restaurant called Nipa Restaurant where I will have my breakfast tomorrow. Further into the lobby, there is one masterpiece that really touched my heart. This copper crafted mural is really a treasure to me. It was created in 1974 with pictures shown on how Malaysia was like lifestyle of the locals, agriculture where it was the main source of income during that time and some renowned landmarks like the Medica Square. Before moving into the reception, one will not miss this statue. This is really an international masterpiece. It was built by a French-Italian sculpture artist called Bruno Cataleno. If you search in the Google, you can find his work in big cities all over the world. Having his work in this place is really a privilege to the hotel. All of his sculptures are similar with a man holding a suitcase and the middle part is gone. It depicts that every traveller will leave something behind whenever they travel to a certain place. Very impressive, but just wonder why it must be the middle part gone. It is really up to your imagination why that part is gone. Beside this statue is the reception area. One of the unique part of the reception is it is not facing the main entrance of the hotel where most hotel has. Reason is because they want all guests to feel the ambience of the remarkable design while walking in before they do the check-in. They really did a great job on this, at least to me. I was really impressed. The reception area is cocooned at the corner of the lobby with a very home living room touch in it. Sitting in the lobby itself, with the furniture like the cupboard and the wooden partition with woven matte design really makes me feel so comfortable. Now let's get into the room. After a personal check-in at the club lounge, I was given the club room at level 49. With just two rooms away from the presidential room, it's quiet as I requested. The corridor to the room not only looks decent but smells good too. Each room's door is designed not facing the main corridor like other hotel has to get a little privacy. This little touch really did impress me. My room is 4909. Welcome to my room. This room is a club room and the size of this room is only 40 square meters. It's not very big and as you can see everything is here and you can see there's a bed where I opt for a king size bed so this is the bed that I'm going to sleep tonight and this room it's pretty clean and bright. Facing the bed is the luggage rack and a shelf that links to the business table. The bed comes with four pillows with two big and two smaller pillows. All main switches are located on both sides of the bed and clearly stated. There is a button to control the curtain blind and with just a press of a button, the window turns into a live city view screen where the KL city view is just in front of me. My hotel room is facing the twin tower, meaning it is located at the rear of the building. If the room has a KL tower view, mean it is located at the front of the building. On certain room, on the side of the building, one can have both tower viewable at the same time. One can just lay back on the couch beside the window to enjoy this beautiful view.
The mini bar comes with mineral water and the Dolce Castel coffee capsule with a coffee machine which most 5-star hotels should have. All the things in the mini bar are free. Meaning it's already included in the room and there's no extra charge if you take or drink or eat anything of this. It's pretty thirsty after the whole day and I'm gonna get a Coke. Ah, feels really good. There are also tidbits to go along with the drinks too. Beside the mini bar are the mugs and kettle. Now let's see what they have in the cupboard itself. They have a hanger here. Let's see what they have inside. Aha, uh -huh. okay, they have these extra pillows just in case you have you you feel the pillows is not enough for you to sleep. And a lot of hangers, you have a bathroom, and you have a lot of things like the iron, iron board. Uh, the shoe polishers and what I like is the slippers these slippers is really really premium look at that it's so cute and the design is nice and look at that the thickness of these slippers wearing these are slippers you don't feel like wearing nothing some of the hotels is like they're so thin that you touch the marble or the bathroom and it's just like so cold Having these slippers is really comfortable and what else is? What else more is this slippers you can take home? The room has all these beautiful equipment like the TV is 49 inches as you can see here and there's also a safe which is not actually those ordinary safe you find in other hotels where it's inside the closet itself. It's inside this drawer and it's so cute, you just have to open it and this way, these are really custom made, safe. The toilet is separated with the bathroom. Inside the bathroom, there is a shower area with normal shower head and raining shower head. The shower amenities are branded stuff and comes in bottle where one can take home as well. Next to the shower area is the basin and there is a bathtub at the corner. In the website itself, it says that the hotel, all the hotel rooms are having all these premium toiletries. Now we will have to see what, how premium are these uh, toiletries. You can see it comes with two layer box. Um, inside, they have uh, normal things like toothbrush, shaving, uh, the vanity tea, then the lotions itself. And what I like is the comb. This comb is very, very premium as you look at it and I open for you to see. Ooh, look at that. These are the wooden combs that you can use. And it's, it's not cheap, it's not like those thin combs that you have are in other hotels, right? You can comb your hair, you can your chest and, uh, and other bushes on your body, right? So this comb, you can take home as well. This top top is very nice and of course it's facing the bait. You can actually wind down the blind just in case you don't want your partner or anyone to see you uh, soaking in the bathtub like this. And yeah, you can comfortably sit down here and enjoy your bathtub moment, oh, it's so relaxing. I'm gonna use this, definitely very, very nice. The room itself is very beautiful. Uh, it's clean, it's bright, it comes to the five star standard. Yes, all the toiletries and amenities are very premium. And indeed, they actually mention in the website and everything is accurate which I really like. The only thing that disappoints me is the layout itself because um, I expect the club room to have a nice layout but in fact, the lower grade one that is called the Infinity King, Pre Infinity King Premier if I'm not mistaken the name of it it's just, um, it's lower than, it's, the grade is lower than this club room but they have a better layout 
and in fact the size of it is bigger than the club room itself they have 50 square meters and the club room which I'm staying here is only 40 square meters it's slightly smaller the layout is different and this layout is very normal traditional type where the bed comes in and then the window here etc so this is the only thing that disappoints so the hotel comes with a few category of rooms and the lowest price i would say is from the deluxe room whether it's deluxe twins or deluxe king and those are from the 30th floor to the 39th floor and if you go for those rooms probably you will, the view you won't be able to get that nice because um, most of the view are blocked by the building surrounding because it's lower floor so if you go for uh, 40th floor to 46th floor that is what i mentioned just now the infinity king Premier or Infinity Twin Premier, you will have a very good view, but you cannot have lounge access. And according to what I know, if you want to go for lounge access without that um, that av uh, availability, you have to pay extra two hundred ringgit for that, which I think is really, really not worth it. But other than that, you have a better layout room and also a bigger room for that. And the uh, room the window itself is wider but you can see a wider view of the city itself now if you want to be like me who wants to insist on going to the club lounge you can go for the club lounge room which i'm now having which is from the 47th floor all the way to the 50th floor these are all the rooms they have and other than that they have a more higher class which is the suite and those are really premium and more expensive type and I am not mistaken they have, they have four types they have the studio suite they have the executive suite they have the presidential suite and the most premium of the hotel suite they have is the AHA suite yeah so these are the four suites that you have, they have here and of course it's more expensive and all the suites they have clubs lounge access for that now that's another tip that i need to give it to you if you are driving to this hotel like what i'm doing uh, please don't use a touch and go card when you come into the parking bay because um, the hotel cannot validate the touch and go card this is something which i found that is a bit weird <laughs> and you have to use the ticket so get the ticket instead of using a touch and go card and upon going out you need to get your car ticket to validate in the reception then you are okay to go out or else the, um, the, the hotel cannot validate the touch and go card for you the, because this hotel I mean this building does not only belongs to the hotel it also has the uh, offices as well so the touch and go card mainly for the office itself so make sure use the ticket instead of the touch and go card okay as this is the part one of my review on this EQ hotel there will be part two and pro most probably I will actually post it uh, a week after then I uh, hope that you will continue following to the part two of this uh, EQ hotel on my review and just a short preview on what I'm going to show you on the part two now first of all is the facility itself the facility is wow I would say that is a you have a stunning skyline infinity pool in this hotel that you should not miss and then the gym itself wow it's modern it's cheap and as well as there's a spa area that you shouldn't miss and also my personal rating on this uh, hotel itself so please do subscribe so that you won't miss any of my video especially the part two of this hotel so till then i see you in part two bye oh just look at the view so beautiful